welcome back to Life with Sheila. Today I'm going to kind of talk about a pretty, pretty tight topic. I'm going to just kind of just share my heart on the matter of nesting. And when I say nesting, I don't mean like when you're pregnant and nesting. I mean the empty nesting kind. <laughs> it's so much similar, but kind of in opposite realms. You know, when you're empty, when you're nesting, you are usually cleaning your house and getting all the things ready for baby, all the furniture, all the nursery ready. And when you're empty nesting, you are kind of having to learn to let go of those things. You might be still gathering things for your kids to, for when they're on their own, you know, furniture, whatever it might be. Um, depending on the situation, that's all kind of different. But let me tell you, emotionally, nobody prepares you for empty nesting. They might tell you their experience, and I'm going to kind of share where mine is at the moment. Um, I am not a full empty nester. Um, my husband and I, we have we have a 19-year-old. She'll be 20 next week. Oh my gosh. She lives on her own. She moved out almost a year ago. And... We still have the twins at home who are 17 and in their senior year of high school. So within a year or two, we are going to be empty nesters. And I say that pretty positively because we have raised our kids to want to go and live on their own. They want to go experience life and all that it has to offer. And we are so excited for that. You know, we... It's, it's a great being a responsible parent, you know, and you know that you're responsible for every little thing. But having one that has moved out and who is on her own, and I still worry about her at times, but she is so strong and her, she is so stable where she is right now that I no longer worry about if she's going to make it. I know she's going to. I still worry about her safety sometimes because she is not, you know, next door or even in the house. I don't worry about the decisions she makes. She makes pretty good decisions. Um, so that is kind of, kind of a joy and almost a privilege um, to know that your kid is out on her own and doing so well. The boys have a plan in place. Um, where they will be entering in an industry that um, is very big in our area. So they are going to actually be doing um, very well very quickly, which is nice. But emotionally as a mom, it's hard. <laughs> I am not going to cry in this video. I honestly am not. I may tear up here and there. Um, because I realize that when they were, let me see, when our daughter was 12, my husband and I started talking about things that we would do when it was just him and I. <sighs> and we are honestly looking forward to those things. <laughs> we really are. Um, but I can tell you that it was about that time too where our kids were entering, sorry, our kids were entering a new phase in their their lives. Um, they were growing up. They were turning into these these little minions, <laughs> these little preteens, and we gone through the teenage years. And people will tell you it's tough when your kids are little because they always need you. I can tell you as they reach the phase that my kids are in now, they need you just as much. <laughs> that doesn't stop. They just need you in a different way. Um, uh, with our daughter, she needed a lot of emotional support, a lot of guidance, and a lot of leadership her last couple years of high school. Girl drama, you know. The good thing is, I was pretty persistent in convincing her that when she left school, when school was out, that drama stops. <laughs> Unless you continue that in your adult life. She doesn't like drama, so she's a lot like me in that area, and it's easy for her to walk away from it. She doesn't sit and bask in it. Now she works retail. She's in a lot of drama, um, and she's learning how to deal with it from a different perspective. 
and that is great. Um, so for her, her needs for me, and you know, I had to be there a lot of times to drop off, pick up, all that stuff um, on top of the boys. Now it's just the boys, so I, it's kind of eased up a little bit as far as that part goes. Um, over the summer, one of the twins started working. Um, of course, it's just for the summer. And he may still do weekends in the fall. We'll see how that pans out. Um, we are being very persistent and strict as far as what we will allow him to do out during the school year, especially during football, because he will be at school for almost 12 hours. Well, not this year, because they get first period off, so. Um, 10 hours. <laughs> They'll be at school for a little over 10 hours, and he doesn't need to work, um, being how he'll be at school and then um, practice, and then game day. So he's left with weekends, and and I kind of lay down the law a little bit and explained to him that if he did, he needed to work days because he needs to use this year, his senior year, to spend time with his friends because once they all graduate, things will change. And of course, they don't understand what I'm saying. Um, my daughter didn't either, and now she does. So I kind of told her maybe she should kind of explain to him what she learned so he would understand that I'm not just saying that so that I don't have to take him and pick him up. <laughs> this summer, um, you know, when they're babies, you lose sleep. This summer, I have lost sleep, and I see what sleep deprivation does to a person. This is the first morning um, that I woke up without bags under my eyes and with a ton of energy, and I just feel amazing today. I think Saturday, I woke up with a lot of energy, too. <laughs> He did not work Friday night, so I got to, I think I went to bed at a decent time Friday and then slept in just a little bit on Saturday, and sleep is amazing, y'all. <laughs> so there's a lot of emotions that you kind of go through when you're going through this whole empty nest stuff. Um, I want to share that here on the channel with you guys as we go through it. Um, I kind of just wanted to do a quick intro as to where we are in our empty nest phase. We're not an empty nest yet, um, but our nest is a little lighter. Of course, Shelby takes up some time too. As if you're new to my channel, Shelby is our German Shepherd. She's three years old and she is my fur baby. I am her human. <laughs> she really, we got her, my husband wanted a German Shepherd and we got her for him, but she has chosen me as her human, so. She loves everybody in the house. She's loyal to everyone in the house, but I am her preferred preference. <laughs> anyway, she takes up a lot of, of time and energy too, so. Oh my goodness, she split him in half. Shelby girl. Oh my goodness. <laughs> She's had this one toy since Christmas, and he is now in half. Anyway. So that is where we are. I am really excited, honestly, even though I have tears. You know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a girl, I'm a female, and we have emotions. <laughs> I will tell you that when she moved out of the house, um, my female cycle kind of did a, a hoopla. <laughs> I really thought I was being thrown into menopause um, because my cycle was weird and things were just weird. And I purchased a supplement that helped a whole lot. It kind of helped put things back in sync, but now my system is back to where it was and um, I realized that I probably was not really into early menopause. It was just a phase. Um, I know that when I was teaching, any new teacher I worked with, <laughs> pretty much had the same issue going on because, you know, when you work with a lot of females, we, you tend to, your body is just naturally tend to go towards the same, I don't know, it's, it's really crazy how that happens, but anyway, <laughs> I'll get off that topic. So that is where we are, and um, like I said, I will update y'all throughout the next year or so when all the changes really happen. Um, 
And until then, enjoy your babies. And now that um, when it's time for you to empty nest, I'll be here for you. <laughs> until, guess what? Tomorrow, you guys, tomorrow, you are going to get the first of the vlogist videos. Vlogus started today when I'm filming this, but for you guys, I'm on a two-day delay. So you'll start getting them on Saturday, and then you'll get them every day all the way until September 2nd. So until then, I bid you a blonde farewell, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.